These are not really working with me today. <laughs> Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing inspired looks from Lisa from Blackpink. I'm so happy that you guys loved the one I did for Jenny. If you haven't watched it yet, I'm going to leave it in the cards up here so you can click it if you want to watch it. I worked really hard on this. Um, I even did my bangs because Lisa has bangs, but mine aren't being very cooperative today. <laughs> but anyways, let me show you five Lisa inspired looks. Sorry, I moved this over a bit. <laughs> but the first outfit is the one that I am wearing right now. I found this photo of Lisa and I think it was from like a moonshot promotional shoot that she did. I couldn't find the whole outfit, so I kind of just guessed as to what she was wearing. So for the top, she was wearing a white off the shoulder top. It had some embroidery on the ends and on the kind of top shoulder area um, where it stretches. Um, it had some like ruffly looks to it. Sorry, I'm not explaining this very well, but it looks really similar to this top. This top is from ASOS. It also has the little broidery on the edges of the sleeves. It also has a kind of ruffled up look on the stretchy part. Hers is also pretty loose and flowy looking, and this one is too. But yeah, I was really happy when I found this top because it is such a close match to hers. Also, now that I'm looking at her outfit, it looks like she tucked this in, so. I'm gonna tuck it in. <laughs> As for the bottoms, I couldn't really find a full outfit picture of what she was wearing, so I kind of just, I kind of just guessed a little bit onto what I thought she might be wearing. So based on a couple photos that I saw of her, she's definitely wearing denim bottoms. So I chose these denim shorts and I got these from H&M. Um, I got them a long time ago, so I don't think they'll have them anymore, but I will link similar ones down below. And then for shoes, I kind of just went for the comfortable option because I noticed in a lot of her pictures, she wears a lot of sneakers. So I chose these white Nike tennis sneakers. But yeah, this is the whole look. I think it's really cute and it's a really great kind of warm weather outfit. Okay, so this is the second look. So I found a picture of her at the airport with a similar outfit to this. I actually think a couple more of these outfits are airport looks. But anyways, she was wearing a black mock neck top with some striped pants, a chain belt, and white sneakers. So this black mock neck top is from H&M. I got it a really long time ago, um, so I will link something similar down below. But this top is a pretty close match to hers. Um, the only thing is that the sleeves are not as long. For pants, I picked out these from Princess Polly. Hers were navy blue and striped, so I thought this was a really good fit. These pants, however, have like a ruffled up section right here, which hers doesn't have, but overall, it looks pretty much the same. And then for the belt, I got this belt on ASOS. It's a chain belt. I was having trouble wearing this the first time, so Jimmy had to help me. But yeah, it's actually pretty easy to wear. Um, I was just being really dumb. Anyways, this is the belt. And then for shoes, I just wore my Nike tennis sneakers again. So this is the whole look, and I'm actually pretty proud of myself because this is a pretty close match to her outfit, I think. <laughs> Okay, so for the third outfit, this is just a really simple outfit. So Lisa wore an outfit like this at the airport again. <laughs> I really wanted to do this one even though it's really simple because she just looked really cute in it. So she wore a red graphic tee with some kind of cropped jeans and some white sneakers. So the t-shirt she wore was a red graphic tee and it had some like white lettering and about a few rows, but I couldn't find a shirt that kind of had that kind of lettering in three rows. So I found this one and I really like it. And then for jeans, I'm just wearing my Urban Outfitters Kick Flare jeans. So her jeans are a little bit similar in the way that they kind of are cropped at the bottom, but they, they taper out a little bit. So I thought these jeans would be perfect for that. And then for shoes, she's wearing white sneakers, but I didn't want to just wear my Nike white tennis shoes again. So I'm wearing my Nike Cortez sneakers. I thought that these would look really good because of the little red Nike check mark on them to match the red top. But yeah, I really like this outfit. It's very me, it's very, very comfortable. <laughs> okay, so this is the third outfit and this outfit and the next one are both gonna be pretty like Lisa, edgy, sporty looking. So I found this really cool photo of Lisa and she was wearing this like pink and blue bucket hat with um, a long sleeve, like graphic tee um, and some like joggers and a fanny pack. I just thought it was such a cool look that I wanted to try and get inspired by it. So I couldn't find a blue and pink hat, but I did find this pink one on ASOS. This is by the brand Obey. 
And I really love this color pink. I think it looks so cute. So as for the top that she's wearing, I don't really know what it says or where it's from, but it looks pretty like sporty and loose fitted. So I found this shirt on ASOS. I thought that this was a pretty good match. Um, it has a sporty vibe to it. It has like these checker blocks on the side and some prints on this side and it has vans on the front. I specifically chose this shirt because of that vibe and also because it had some print on the sleeves because hers does too. So in the photo, she's also wearing a fanny pack. Um, so I got this off ASOS and I forget the brand it is, but again, I'll just have everything linked down below. But it's pretty basic, it's just a black fanny pack. And in the photo, she's wearing some black joggers. Um, so I just wore these black cargo pants and I got these from Forever 21. I think her pants do have some like print on them, but I couldn't really find any pants that were like that, so I just settled for these. And I'm not sure what she's wearing for sneakers because I couldn't find any like full body shots of this outfit. So I just went with my Nike Air Force Ones because I thought it looked really cool with this look. But this is the whole look. <laughs> I really like this one. This might be my favorite out of all of them actually because I feel like I just look really cool and trendy. Okay, so this is the last outfit and I think this is an outfit she wore either in like a performance or a music video or something. On the last video, um, I got some requests to do like outfits that they've worn on shoots or in music videos. So I tried to do one for this one. So for this outfit, she was wearing this sheer blue camo top with a black overlay, um, a sparkly overlay, some cargo pants, and then some boots. So I couldn't find a black sparkly overlay for the top. So I just didn't wear one and I just wore a black bra under. So for the top, I actually did a pretty good job. Um, it's this blue sheer camo top and the only reason I'm not sure if it's an exact match is because in the photo hers looks cropped and mine isn't cropped. But nonetheless, they're very, very similar. And I actually had to get this off Depop because I couldn't find this um, in my size online anywhere. If I do, I will link it down below. And then for pants, I'm just wearing the black cargo pants again from Forever 21. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these chunky boots and they're from ASOS. I really love these boots. I think they're super comfortable and edgy and I just really love how chunky they are. And also I was gonna wear my hair up in a high pony like she did, but these extensions don't let me do that. So I just left my hair down. All right guys, so those are all five outfits. I really hope that you guys liked them. Um, I think my favorite one was the fourth one. I just felt like really cool, but like colorful. <laughs> Let me know who you want me to do next, Rose or Jisoo. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.